Going to the movies is expensive, but today we're making dinner, popcorn, and dessert for less than the cost of a bucket of popcorn at a movie theater. Life can be a struggle, but a good meal doesn't have to be. We can make creative, nutritious, and inventive dishes for under $2 a plate. We're gonna save a lot of money today by having dinner and a movie at home. We're gonna start with the classic TV dinner, minus the plastic, minus the freezer burn. Then I'll show you popcorn three ways, and I've got a special dessert for you, so fire up the projector. We are gonna make a TV dinner from scratch for less than buying it frozen. A swell dinner ready in just 25 minutes. Right. And talk about easy. We start with potatoes, because you can't have a TV dinner without mashed potatoes. If you start the potatoes in cold water, they cook from the inside out. If you dump them into hot water, they cook from the outside in. It's deep, man. And now, we are gonna literally make chicken tenders with chicken tenders. What I'm doing right now is setting up an assembly line for chicken finger manufacturing. So we're gonna go with the chicken tender into the flour, which is gonna help the egg stick because flour is rough. And then the egg is gonna help the breadcrumb and cheese stick, and then boom, into the oven. Speaking of cheese, let's put a little bit in with the breadcrumbs. It's gonna add a nutty flavor. It's gonna give you a melty deliciousness on the outside. Let's start with the baby tender here, okay? Tender, flour, flour, and we come into the egg. And now, switch the hands because this hand is gonna get eggy. There and there. Look at how nicely everything sticks. These are going into the oven 425 degrees for 20 minutes. We're saving a ton of money by not frying, but the high heat is gonna give us the crispiness. The crispiness that a frozen TV dinner can never match. Imagine the TV dinner, everything is compartmentalized and there's that sad little corner with all the vegetables. I know what you do, you avoid those vegetables because they're soggy. Well, it's time to make that compartment delicious again. Start with three packets of butter into our pan. All right, onions going in. Right around this point, we can add in our carrots. We are trying to make nicely cooked, flavorful vegetables that are not soggy. And that means sauteing them in butter and not overcooking them. Here we come with some frozen peas. Now it's time for some real mashed potatoes. We've got our potatoes here. They cooked from the inside out and I drained them. Milk, four packets of butter, salt, and we mash. All right, once this starts coming together, you're gonna wanna get in there with a spoon and test for seasoning. Pretty damn perfect. All right, that is delicious mashed potatoes made from three ingredients. Potato, milk, and butter. It's not that hard to make something that tastes even better and costs even less than the stuff you find in the frozen food section. And also, if you're afraid of cooking, just keep tasting along the way. That's how you can make it better before it arrives at the table. It is time for us to tray this up. Chick I own some mashed potatoes. Check out this beautiful TV dinner we have. We've got crispy chicken. We've got totally wonderful vegetables that aren't soggy and a fantastic three ingredient mashed potato with none of the filler that the frozen stuff has. This is all killer. There's only one thing that this needs. Chicken tenders ain't chicken tenders without ketchup. And one little baby packet of butter. Here's our TV dinner spread. And at $1.78, nothing in the frozen food section can come close to this on price or flavor. There is, however, a missing thing. That little dessert compartment. Why don't we take care of it? Since we've all decided that a TV dinner ain't a TV dinner without a dessert, it is time to make a dessert. So let's make some homemade pudding. With just a few simple ingredients, we can have a delicious one. We got sugar. Here's some mm. cocoa powder. Very important, some cornstarch. Pudding ain't pudding if it ain't thick. And that's what the cornstarch does. All right, mix this up. Hey, don't burn this, okay? Don't be doing other things, pay attention. All right, here comes some milk. Already very thick. Okay, that is nice and incorporated. If we want that cornstarch to work, it needs to come up to a simmer. So it's very important that this does come up to a simmer. All right, the move now is to take any cookies that you have in the house and crush them up into the bottom of our pudding vessels. This is gonna allow them to absorb the flavor of the pudding in the bottom. I think it's so much better than putting crumbly stuff on the top, because then you got crunchy and then you got smooth. If you do it this way, everything is smooth. Just crush them up. See how thick that got? 
Oh, baby. It looks like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory in here. The pudding has cooled so that the glass will not break. Boom. Mmm. Oh. Wow. These look fantastic, but they're not done yet. We've got to put them in the fridge so that they cool all the way through. Pudding ain't pudding without whipped cream. So let's whip some cream. Frankie, how do you make whipped cream? Well, you take cream and sugar. I recently inherited a family heirloom from my grandma, a whisk. Very important when making whipped cream. Borderline impossible to do with a fork. All right, whipped cream is one of those things where the name is actually the way to make it. Fun fact, if you over whipped cream, it turns into butter. All right, look, we've done it. The cream is whipped to nice medium peaks and I deserve a treat. Oh, it's fucking delicious. It's time to bestow the cream upon the pudding. La 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 la. We have our gorgeous whipped cream here. Boom, boom. A cookie. I'm gonna put it on top. Man, no TV dinner has a dessert that is as luscious and scrumptious as this. And we didn't have to make anything out of a packet. It's just a few simple raw ingredients. And at 79 cents, everyone can get on board. You could say our TV dinner is complete now that it has both dinner and dessert, but I think it's so superior to a frozen TV dinner, we should call it an unfrozen movie dinner. But I'm not done yet. Every good film has a side of popcorn. So let me show you my three favorite ways to do that. Popcorn and movies go hand in hand like nothing else. That's why we're gonna make it right now. But in the movie theaters, they've got the nerve to charge you eight bucks. That's an 800% markup, thieves. Well, guess what? We can save a whole bunch of money if we just buy the popcorn kernels in bulk. And they last a really long time. Plus, it's easy to make. You gotta start with a high heat oil. This is coconut oil. Not only is it a high heat oil, but it's gonna coat every single piece of popcorn in an oily goodness that is so superior to the fake butter in the movie theaters, you're not even gonna know what to do with yourself. Let's throw it in. All right, and in with the popcorn kernels. The top is really important. Otherwise, you're gonna lose yield. Okay, so now we're gonna turn it up to medium high. We are creating steam inside here. We are preventing kernels from popping out and we're also protecting our fachas. I'm so tempted to peek, but that would be a really bad idea. Ow, my eye! I'm waiting for that first pop any second now. Wow. It's like a baby kicking inside its mama's womb. Keep shaking so it doesn't burn. All right, I'm turning the heat off. All right, just give it a second. You ready for the big reveal? La. Incredible. Ah. Uh. Uh, uh. That is looking really fresh and really clean. I'm gonna show you three awesome ways that you can doctor up that popcorn. And none of these ways involve fake, greasy butter. I only use the real thing from the packet drawer. Why have one flavor popcorn when you can have three for one eighth the price? Let's start with a spicy paprika butter popcorn. Butter, pan, fire. Here's melted butter in the pan. I'm gonna add an entire airplane container of hot sauce and paprika and a nice pinch of salt. Mix it around. This is sort of like buffalo wing popcorn. Yeah, that looks really nice, doesn't it? Guys, remember, a little goes a long way, especially when you're cooking things in butter. I think the spicy one is lovely for a, a thriller. Now let me show you the perfect popcorn for a romantic comedy from the mid-90s. Pan, fire. Three packets of packet drawer butter, four packets of packet drawer sugar, and just about a tablespoon of water here. The water's gonna prevent the sugar from crystallizing, which would prevent the sugar from getting on every single piece of popcorn. And that would prevent you from enjoying your mid 90s romantic comedy. Most likely with Hugh Grant. Mix it around until the sugar's dissolved. Here comes our sweet and buttery popcorn. Oh, baby. Oh, look at how they just absorb it. Mamma mia. Give it a toss quickly before it all settles. Ah, oh, it's sweet, it's salty, it is ready for your tears. Now the perfect popcorn for a Mediterranean foreign film. Pan, fire, oil of olive. Hey, you don't always have to use butter on your popcorn. Here comes some thyme. 
Here comes some fresh chopped rosemary. Heat these up just till they start popping a little bit, not beyond, because that'll ruin the delicious taste of extra virgin olive oil. Boom, that's it. See that? Done. I am already halfway under the Tuscan sun. Let's pour this upon these popcorns. Here comes some Parmesan cheese to top it off. Quick mix. Europe needs more salt. Mmm. Perfection. One, two, three. Each one of these bowls costs only 55 cents, and each one has its own unique flavor profile. We've got the herbaceous olive oil popcorn, we've got the sweet and savory popcorn, and we've got the spicy hot popcorn for the adventurous eater. All of this popcorn for under $2. Tonight, we took dinner and a movie to the next level. As always, we saved money by cooking at home. I took the nostalgia of a frozen TV dinner and elevated it with fresh ingredients, made it even more robust with a dessert pudding that blows away the stuff that you get in a package or in the frozen food section. And I topped it off with three different flavors of popcorn, none of which you're gonna get in a bag, none of which you're gonna get in a movie theater, and it all costs way less money. So let's start up that film, because we are set in the F-O-O-D department. 